Tell us about your growing. I well, suffer. So growing up was suffering, hard. It was a learning process. Mm, blessed to be here. Since you got signed on to Sony Music, why have you not had any exclusive song without any collaboration? No, I dropped the, I dropped the whole tape. I dropped the whole project on Sony. I dropped the whole project on the other side from, with Sony, so... Yeah, and I'm, I'm... Don't I do collaborations before, so... I, I just like to work with everybody now and just enjoy. And so, no... No long team. Working with my people. Yeah, it is. It is whiskey. Everything I put out right now is what I want the people to hear, like... I dictate what I want the people to hear. I, dict I dictate how my music is released, you know, and this is just how I want to do it. So just enjoy the music. Enjoy, get my jewelry. Yeah, yeah I'm a shock nation <laughs> worldwide. Do you feel the public perception of you has changed since you became internationally recognized? I don't really, you know, pay attention to how people treat me. I pay attention to how I treat people, so. I still treat people the same. I still I still hang out with my day one friends. Like, I still do normal stuff. So like that's pretty much everything is normal for me on this side. I try to keep it as normal as possible, no matter where Starboy Whiskey goes to. I don't care. Why has there been no official picture with you and Drake? You know how many people I know that I hang out with on a daily basis that I don't post their pictures? Like, do you know how many people that I know that I talk to that I don't, like, nobody even knows we're friends? There's a lot of them, so I don't really care about pictures or all that stuff. I'm more of my work, you know, so, and um, what does a picture have to prove that we hang out or we chill? Like, we do that, so why should I, you know? I'm not that kind of person. I'm more of the music. I care about my music, so just enjoy music. That's all I'm here to deliver to my people. Accept it. What do you think about your constant comparison between you and Afro music legend, Fela? You know, we can't compare, like, let's not use that word because that's like a disrespect when you're like, mentioning Whiskey and Fela in the same sentence. It's like, you can't compare. That's like someone that inspires me. I have him tatted on me, like, I have, like Fela's face is on my body, so. Like, you can't compare, man. He just inspires me, and everything, like, he's done with his music and his legacy, like, inspires me to be great and to want to do more, so... It's just an inspiration to me and a motivation, yeah. That's it. What inspired your latest single, Soko? Oh, I got my chill in the studio. I got my chill in you. Nothing to inspire. <laughs> just the vibe. You know, I make music that I want to vibe to. I make music that I want to listen to with my guys. So when I made that one there, I just had like every one of the songs, I just called them, hey, sh pull up, and they came in the studio, do their verses within minutes, man. Everybody was done, so. And so we did work, man, every day, togetherness, one love. And so, man. Tell us about the song you're currently making with Duncan Mighty. We have two crazy songs, like, we've made, and we're shooting the video. Duncan Mighty is a very, very, like, special, like musician, you know, like it's someone that I listen to that is first album. I listen to the first album a lot. And so me working with him is like a privilege. So big shout out to him for even allowing, you know, this to happen. So yeah, Donga Mighty Whiskey comes from legend and young guy, young boy like me. We put them together, so he come. Legend! Would you say you have accomplished the goals you set out for yourself when you began your journey into music? I I've accomplished what? I never pack my jet outside now, so... <laughs> you see, I work, I accomplish everything. We are suffering, we are young Nigerians. We are hustling every day without sleep. Anywhere, you go here, on a convoja, so I can get to see everything. <laughs> so, yeah, but we are hustling, we are grinding, and I'm God, they bless us, so... But there's still a long way to go. We never haven't done anything yet, so... How true is it that international labels aren't living up to expectation after signing Nigerian artists? They do, they do a lot. Like, for me, if you're going into any business situation, just understand that it has to be a win-win situation. If you want to win, your label has to win. So there's nothing like you can't be selfish. Like, I was signed to EME and I, I played my part, I played my role, and everything I did was what I took when I left to start my own life. So at the end of the day, if you're going into business with anybody, you have to just make sure that you win and the person you're doing business with 
also wins don't have that selfish mentality that's the only way you guys can win so that's life and that's how i play my game and roll so yeah i enjoy myself my baby i know no quanta no shaking in a recent interview you said you decided against releasing the videos you shot outside the country why did you do that it's just a conscious decision that i made i shot a lot of videos in america all, all around the world basically but for my next project and the stuff that I'm trying to put out now I would love for people to you know see whiskey for whiskey you know I'm not shooting no videos outside I'm shooting all my videos here in Africa you know that's that that's just my own decision anybody can do their own whatever they like I have decided to do my own like this you recently signed a new act Terry under your label what inspired that move Terry bad he's a young guy like I saw I would think I was in London or something or somewhere I don't remember where I was and I saw a video he tagged me in a video of a cover that he made of one of my songs the one with Jimmy Jack and I heard it I heard just like I think um 60 seconds I mean 20 seconds or something I don't know but just that 20 seconds, I could tell that he had something special. So I just told Moose him, and I said, yo, my brother, I better reach out to that guy. And that was how that happened. And, uh, and um, he just signed his deal. And I'm really, really excited about this project because, like, uh, like, I'm just very excited because he's very talented. And I think the world needs to hear him. So there will be more people coming through, too. So look how we come. I'm shaking. Tell us about the projects of the artist under your label, Starboy. Yeah, um, Mute is working on his um, album right now, you know, Legendary Beats. They're also working on their album. Mute is working on his solo project as well. He's, he dropped Maya, and um, he's about to drop another one featuring Caesar Millie and Whiskey. And um, yeah, so everybody's working, man. There's more stuff coming, more music. Just don't worry. We should carry music coming. Just play it and enjoy it. When we drop it, that's all we ask and enjoy with the open mind, free yourself. In 2017, at your concert in Lagos, music fans surprisingly saw you and David O step on stage together holding hands. Who initiated that move? I just called him, uh, we made it happen. It's not a big deal, like, I just sent him a message. And, like, I'm a, people don't know me, if you really know me, the ones that are close to me know that, you know, Whiskey is all about one love, togetherness, and just working together, man. Like, all that other media, social media stuff is all hype, you know. That's not real, that's not real stuff. Like, the real stuff is putting food on my table, making sure that people around me, are successful, they're good, they're, turn, they're turning to their own bosses. Like, you know, that's my own joy. I, I know any other thing there, I don't really send. Making sure I reach out to my brother when they need me, you know, because me too, I feel like my brother tomorrow, my brother, they look out for me. So, I saw me a day, man, you know, one life to live one, I judge it. Are we ever going to see collaboration between you and David O? Everybody, I didn't do something with everybody. Like a Jackson, I'm going to be to back part yeah, everyone is working, man. I'll just let everyone speak for themselves, man. You know, like, you know, Terry, bad guy. Do you want to go yeah. first? Man? Yeah, so basically working on new stuff. Uh, Soccer just dropped and uh, I think it's doing very, very well. So we have to give them, after that, when it's yes. working on new stuff, new music, new music videos, bad ones for all the time. Yes. And it feels amazing. So amazing. I think that's the only one that can experience it. It feels amazing, it feels good. Because, like, before now, it was like a big mentor to everybody. And then getting sent to him, seeing how everything is done, feels amazing, it feels so good. Hey, what up, everybody? Yes, but let's. Um, working with Starboy is a dream come through for me. I've been looking forward to meeting Starboy and working with Starboy. And we did an amazing song in soccer. Soccer is everywhere now. People mm -hmm. appreciate the song. People love the song. I want you guys to expect something massive from Starboy this year. I'm going to be in Starboy like, maybe mm -hmm. a couple of weeks from now. 
So I want you guys to expect something amazing from Starboy this year. Like, we're bringing fire to the people. Okay. Mm. What are my people now? You already know I see you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, hey, man, I don't, I don't have much to say, man. Like, um, this is a superstar. I really let the music speak for itself. I mean, a yes, big yeah. shout out to Wiz for putting like, a whole bunch of us on. Hmm. Um, mm -hmm. I know a lot of cats want to be on this platform, man. Trust me, it's not easy, but like, just keep working, man. And mm -hmm. I see for the music, you guys already know, like, it's not something we need to tell you. Zamily 2018, no dollar. I'm going to tell you. Spotless 2018, 2018. Gang business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. What legacy would you want to leave behind? Oh, well, I guess I want. Ah. We just want to make sure say whatever we do, we can inspire the next generation so that, you know, as the people who inspire us, they inspire us. Maybe say they inspire anybody. We hear of our name, see our music, or. You know, hear us talk or hear about our lifestyle. So you know, that's all I do. We just they do our own thing. You know. As then talk, man, 2018, Spotless 2018, Caesar Millie 2018, Terry 2018, Starboy 2018, Gang Business, don't do it. Mute. You know, don't come mind to come with some serious fire this year. I have to give you guys that exclusive. We're working on this album, so that'll be crazy, man. Yeah, so we'll get plenty of other things.